So you've created the vision board. Now what do you do? What's the next step? Put it on the wall and leave it there? I'm gonna tell you today how you take your vision board and create a visualization to help you manifest it into the physical form. My name is Kathleen Cameron, and I teach manifestation, law of attraction, and self-love. Most people create a vision board at the beginning of the year. They put all these incredible things that they want all over this board. Now you see it virtually, you put it as the backdrop on your computer or on your phone, and you see over and over again all the things that you want. But there's one big thing missing, is that most people don't become the version of themselves they need to be to accomplish what's on the vision board. So you look down from where you are today right now at that vision board and all you see is the gap between where you are and where you wanna go and you are the same person today trying to have those things. In order to experience something different in your life, you need to be a new version of yourself. You need to do something you've never done before. One of my favorite tips and tricks is to visualize. And so I visualize multiple times a day and it allows me to tap into a future version of myself, but it also helps me to vibrationally change my point of attraction. So you want to be a vibrational match to what's on the vision board. And you're not being a vibrational match to a house. You're not being a vibrational match to a car or to speaking on stage. What you're becoming a vibrational match to is the feeling of being the version of yourself that is living that life. And so a vision board is really a visual representation of an experience of life that you are choosing to have, that you want to have. So if you want a bigger house, you need to create more wealth in order to create that house. If you want to speak on stage in front of 10,000 people, you need to believe that what you have to say is worthy of 10,000 people coming to see you. And if you wanna build the business of your dreams, you need to have the confidence that that business is on its way now. So visualization can be a tool that is imperative for you in creating the life of your dreams. And so this is accessing your imagination to feel the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And you must create an end scene that can only happen if you've achieved what's on the vision board. So you can't be visualizing the things that you have right now already. That doesn't make any sense. You wanna visualize a scene. So sometimes it's recognition, accomplishment. It's telling your family you're taking them on that trip. Maybe it's actually you know, buying a house for your parents and you visualize the moment in which you give them the keys. And so what you do is you feel the feeling of accomplishing that thing. So the order of visualization then is, is to create what it is that you want. Vision board can help you with that. The second step is to create an end scene in your mind that would imply the realization of what you want already exists. And then the third thing is to feel the feeling of your wish fulfilled. If you want to practice some guided visualizations, I have several on this channel. I have a gratitude for manifestation visualization. I have a divine self visualization. And soon you will see that I have a best of yourself visualization that will be added to this YouTube channel. Last thing I will say about visualization is there is one emotion that if you can tap into this emotion during a visualization, you will change everything. And that emotion is gratitude. So when you feel grateful for the life that you have, for the experiences that you're having, for all the things that are on the way, you are a vibrational match to being grateful. And so that means is, is that the universe says, here's more to be grateful for, here's more to be grateful for, here's more to be grateful for. So you can use visualization very simply and easily. My favorite little example of a visualization that will show you just how powerful this is, is I want you to walk into your kitchen. I want you to grab a lemon and roll it on your counter. And then I want you to cut that lemon. So we're doing this all in our imagination. We're gonna cut that lemon. And as you cut it, there is lemon juice seeping all over the counter. It is a juicy, juicy lemon. And then I want you to cut it in half again and take that one quarter of that lemon and put it in your mouth and start sucking on it. I don't know about you, but my mouth started to water almost immediately. What that is, is how powerful a thought in the imagination can literally change the molecular structure of your physical 
3D body. And so you can do that with attaining all your wishes and all your desires and all of your dreams and then hold that feeling for the rest of the day as much as you can. I want you to let me know in the comments what you're gonna visualize today and how it will feel once you have it. With gratitude, Kathleen.